Hi everyone, it's Rachel here for Kidaholic Kids. Um, March, it's March now, gosh, can you believe it? And I am creating a layout using the gorgeous Misty Mountains collection from Kazercraft that was included in our kits. Now I will apologize for my voice. I have just attended the Ed Sheeran concert and I obviously sang and screamed a little bit too much and now my voice sounds like this. Anyway, so getting back to the layout, I have chosen a couple of the papers in the more, more of the bluish purple tones and I'm just layering those up. I have obviously used these papers before because this is what is left of them. And I've um, just layered those up starting with that gorgeous floral and then a more subtle marble and then a blue, I don't know what that pattern is called, but it is next. And I'm just going to pop them on a bit of white cardstock. Now, do you know what? These aren't all perfectly centered and or anything like that and that's okay I'm okay with that if I was to spend time worrying about getting things perfectly centered I would never finish a layout so if you notice that they're not centered just don't worry about telling me because I don't really care so here we go I'm just roughing up the edges a little bit to add a little bit of texture and dimension and then I'm going to bring in these two gorgeous pieces of homemade ephemera, I guess you would call them. I basically used the stamp and some navy blue ink and then fussy cut around them. Now this stamp is the Coco Vanilla More Than Words stamp that we got in one of the kits. And I, I basically jumped forward a little bit here because these are the photos that I am using and I wanted to use the three of them and I played around with the orientation for a long time before I was happy with how you see them now. So I'm going to back my photos and I'm just using a bit of scrap paper from one of the other pattern papers in the kit and it's like a pale pink. And I'm just going to back those smaller two photos with that. And then in the middle there, I've got a little quote, which I am going to back and it will be pretty much the same size as those photos. I'm going to back it on another piece of ephemera. Um, basically, this is just uh, some photos of my friend and I when I caught up with her for her birthday and we went out. So I'm just, I, I couldn't decide which photo to use. So that's why I've chosen my favorite and that's the larger photo. And then the two little ones are just some selfies that we took before we went out. Now here is that piece of ephemera. I'm going to add some foam and then I'm going to back it on this other piece of ephemera. Um, that piece that I'm using to back, it, it just had a saying that I probably won't ever use. It's not a saying that I ever use, something about being blessed. That's just not in my vocabulary. Um, so I've covered it up with something that I do like. And I'm just going to put them kind of in a film strip, but not really going down the side of the page. And then I will move on to layering up some papers behind my large photo. So now I'm happy with those smaller photos, I'm going to move on to backing the large photo and I'm just using some of the six by six paper pad papers. Um, now these have some gold foiling on them, which is really pretty. And I decided to go with this one. This is probably one of my favorite papers because it's just really versatile. It's, um, you know, you can, I've done one layout with the large 12 by 12 piece. I used it as a background and you know, I'm sort of wishing I hadn't because I feel like it's a piece that I could use again and again. So I've decided that that piece will be one layer. And then I was going to use this piece, which obviously I have already used the 12 by 12, 
um, as my first layer underneath everything else uh, but I decided not to and I end up using the 6x6 it's the same paper that I backed the other um, photos with and that just brings in a little bit more of that pink color uh, everything else is obviously that dark um, navy purple um, so to bring in a bit more pink I thought that I would go ahead and do that and then you know there's not really much more to this I'm not sure why I didn't cut out this bit of my cutter but anyway that's that's the cutter I use and struggle with um, so basically I'm going to stick that down there I will bring in my other stamped piece here and then I will bring in my title and call it done So for my title, which is coming, will magically appear right now, I uh, have called it Choose Happy. Um, I was going to call it Best Friends, but I think I'm probably getting a bit old to be uh, titling pages Best Friends and things like that. So Choose Happy suited. And as a final touch, I go ahead and use my Memento ink in nautical blue to just ink around the edges of the page um, very carefully so not to smudge it and it adds a nice little detail. Here are the close-ups. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!